8 and 24 in the morning. Uh, I'm gonna try to bulk record some things <clears throat> to make up for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and today to try to catch up. So we'll be going over to file two, new run. We did not unlock any new characters, but I do know we beat Mom. So we're gonna be doing an Isaac run this time. And a first room and mini boss. Now, what I'm hoping from this is poison touch, maybe, with as much as I run into enemies. Uh, that'd be a great beneficiary. But must okay. Okay. Am I just gonna die right here? If so, this is gonna be Full health. Alright, this is terrible. Lust is lust can be bad if you don't have any speed, which we do not. And I, this is bad. From this item room, we can get like HP or all stats up or something so I don't die. Damage up. I'll take it. If I die, I'm gonna be so upset. This run will not have, uh, This run would have been my worst run I have ever done in this game. And it looks like, uh, we are probably going to die. Unless this is, like, a super easy boss, which it is. So if we die here, I'm going to be very upset. Because Larry Jr. is one of the easiest bosses that you can face on the first floor. And now there's two of them, which this one should die relatively shortly. And there he goes. And then we will definitely get HP out of this. There we go. And the coin purse. If it's bad trip, if I get a bad trip pill, I will be so salty. Are you? <sighs> well, since I got that pill, Let's go to our secret rooms. That one was pretty bad. That walking into that red poop was completely awful. Where's the other secret room? Okay, here it is. A battery. <sighs> this was completely awful. And we still have Aria Wizard. Aria Wizard is just so bad. But it finally wore off right there. And we're on our next floor, basement two. So what am I hoping to do here? Pick up a good item, pick up some HP. And uh, not take any damage for as long as possible. So when we start unlocking like the cellar, the catacombs, necropolis, uh, and I believe utero is already unlocked when you unlock the womb, but when we start unlocking those, I will be in for a world of hurt. Which honestly, ooh, I will come back to that. Which honestly, I don't really see like as I play, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get better at dodging and stuff like that. I will shoot all this poop while I talk. But I, will, I do see myself getting better at dodging, maybe not super good like right off the bat, but I do see my skills improving a tad bit over the course, which will be good because you won't be face palming so hard at my stupid plays and mistakes. Uh, the, se the secret room could be right here, could be right there, so I'm, I will check, and indeed it is. So what's up in here? Bomb with Penny and the Hangman. Uh, since we got our bomb back, I've been playing too much about that, but it's not the best. Definitely not. And these guys should be no issue, unless unless they charge me down super quickly. But and then there's only two. Hmm, that's interesting. For such a big room, we figured that there would be more than at least like four, four of them in here just to make it a little challenging. But I can see where that could be challenging if you got like maybe a speed downgrade. Or, okay, Juicy Sack. Now, this isn't the best item. This isn't what we were looking for, but it creates creep, which will slow the enemy down. So if we're running backwards, it could be good. 
And, uh, no. I haven't seen any tinted logs, but... Of course, I could just be making And we will definitely play our boss. We miss a monstro. Not too bad. Oh, that's another effect of this juicy sack. I believe it was called that. It's terrible. As long as we don't take any more damage, uh, we should not be able to I probably shouldn't take that, but I need damage. I need anything I can get. And there he goes. There he goes. Monster's dead. Uh, Placenta. That's so good. And the deal with the devil. Ooh, since there are the black hearts here, I'm going to take the pack. Uh, I believe it gives us black hearts or spirit hearts or something. That's when we take it. Uh, we unlocked Lazarus. Okay, it gave us two spirit hearts. And we are going to go back and get the eternal heart. So basically we have the pack for one heart and that is a solid deal. Like the pack uh, damage up. Uh, any damage upgrades are usually good. <coughs> I apologize for that. I'm still getting over a cold. That could have been bad. So I'm glad that they don't come out as soon as you walk in the room. Uh, since we have three bombs and three keys, I'm not going to worry too much about that key. And then we're just going to go down to the next floor. Alright, the curse room. You know what? We'll go into it. Guppy's tail. Um, yeah, we'll take it, we'll take it. It gives us, uh, one-third of Guppy, and, which is Isaac's cat, and it causes more golden chests to spawn. Now, see, I don't know if that could have been like that before we picked it up or not, but we're, we're gonna open it. Five cents, not the greatest at all. Uh, you can get some pretty good stuff from the, uh, golden chests. And these guys aren't an issue at all. They're already slow, and then, like, if we can catch them with a creep, they're, they're just, shit. okay. Gurglings, um, they're not, they're not too bad at all. Now, if you're fighting on, like, the first floor and you don't have any damage upgrades, and you've gotten two, uh, okay, we'll open it. Um, our card is the Joker. We will use that right away. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to pick up Guppy's paw for the two-thirds of Guppy, and then we will leave. So that's pretty good. I'm glad I went to that curse room. And uh, we will just continue going on. These, well, spiders are annoying. They're probably my least favorite enemy on the caves. The regular chest has a pill. I can see whatever. I'll go ahead and pop that. So we can get into our secret rooms. No, there's the boss. Should we fight the boss right away? I feel pretty confident in anything we can fight. Oh, we might be fighting Pestilence. That's the only thing I can think of that could put a damper. Mega Fatty. Okay. This might be a longish fight. But Mega Fatty isn't too bad at all. So, hopefully, if we get to deal with the devil, I'm not going to go inside. Because it'll just be the shovel. And I'm glad that we got Juicy Sack here, because it slowed him down a little bit. And we got an HP upgrade, so that covers our Guppy's Paw. See, it's just the shovel. That covers our Guppy's Paw transaction. And we will continue looking for our item room. Hopefully we can get the third Guppy item. And our Seagram's around here somewhere. There it is. Damn, I will take that. For free. Yes, most definitely. Uh, we will continue looking for our item room. There's our other season room, actually, which is pretty good. Hopefully, we, maybe we can get some eternal hearts or something out of it. What's in here? More pills. Uh, tears up. Take it. What's this? Tuberty. Okay, nothing. Tears down. Lemon party. Are you a wizard? So, that was... Uh, we broke even on that. It's... Mm, Basically, that was a waste of time. So, we will continue exploring the floor. These wall spiders aren't so bad. It's... Well, now we have a limited key. So, Guppy's Tail, if you want to, uh... Kick in at any point and start spawning golden chests for me. Uh, that would be much appreciated. Bob's Rotten Head. Alright, we probably won't use 
Hey, the parasite has appeared in the basement. We probably won't use Bob's rotten head at all, but we will come in here. Two golden. Oh, definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. A Bob's rotten head, all it is is a throwable poison bomb. I mean, we'll probably use it on this room. This is an enemy that juice uh, attack is very beneficial to take down if you're not very quick. But we got the starting speed, I believe, so they're not so bad. Uh, Bob's Rod Head isn't really needed on this floor, but. Or this room, I should say. So we'll just take them out. And a Spear Heart and Goat Head. Goat Head's really good. Uh, we get permanent deal with the devils. There, I believe there's no chance of us, even if we take Red Heart damage on the boss. So that's pretty good. Um. Four bombs, actually. Yeah, I, I will take Bob's Rotten Head with us. So I'm not just gonna use that. And we will open up our shop. That's why we do have unlimited keys. I kind of wish our secret room was right beside the shop. The Bible. We'll buy the Spirit Heart. And then donate our last three cents. And um, we are done with this floor. So, uh, with the with the way the guppy items work, you don't have to have them. Like you don't have to keep on to them. You can just pick it up and put it down. Because there's quite a few, or well, there's two that I can think of straight off the top of my brain that are spacebar items that that deal with guppy. It's guppy's paw and guppy's head. So it's kind of nice that you don't have to hold on to them. And Hopefully we get a really good item from our Dear Devil, since we should get one on the floor. A golden chest, a bomb, and a key. Sure, why not? Bob's brain. Mm. Let me think about that. I'm not too sure. I'm sold on the fact of picking that up. Not at all. We'll probably take more damage using it than what we would without. Okay, Proptosis. That's really good. It's basically a damage upgrade. If they're really close. And then it's, it just kind of sinks in damage as the tear shrinks. I really like this item. Oh. Uh, mm. Yeah. Oh, that was not worth it at all. So hopefully we can get some more keys. Yeah, I'm scared that was gonna happen. I'm not too good at those rooms. Sir, will you open up please? Oh, Guppy's collar. We became Guppy. So now we can fly. Uh, we generate flies. This is a pretty powerful run, if I do say so myself. And I forgot to show you guys the seed at the beginning of the run. That's my bad. I'll have to get to that habit. So here it is now. 7417WWF7. And we got a pill. Are you wizard? No thank you. The hangman is completely worthless to us, but... I'd rather have that in my queue slot instead of Are You Wizard, because if I accidentally use the Hangman, it does nothing, but Are You Wizard will potentially screw us, and I'm really glad I got Guppy's Collar. So, I'm just gonna clear out this room. We will just straight fight the boss. It's dirty. Dirty stuff. Especially with the damage we're putting out. It's already dead. Uh, magic Stab, HP and a lock. Oh, that's pretty good. HP, we will gladly trade away. Okay. This isn't a good deal with the devil. Nine lives, we are not taking at all. Uh, it'll take all of our red hearts away. So, we'll be, so just by taking that for quote-unquote free, we'll be losing three red heart containers. And I'm not about that. Um, 
Yeah, let's go explore the rest of the floor since I don't have any keys. I'm really enjoying this run. So maybe we can get a mom's heart kill. Bob's brain I will not take. I mean, yeah, we have the range to make it work, but I'm not risking it. I'm not gonna throw away this run. Because knowing myself and how I uh, perform with Bob's brain, that's just a recipe for disaster. So hopefully this tarot card will be good. Hero font? Yeah, we'll go ahead and use it. Take us to the HP cap. Oh my god. And the flies that we're generating scale with our damage, and there's no... Okay, I think I know where one location of the secret room could be. I know two, but... I'm gonna put one here. And I'm gonna put one here. Come on. There we go. And six cents. Not only if we had a key, we could go to the shop, but... We need to get at least two keys. Oh, there's one. I completely forgot about this room. So, we will go to our shop. Uh, if we don't like the item there for sale, we can just uh, maybe buy a key for our item room on the next floor. Steam sale. Yeah, we will buy it. And, uh... That's, that's all we're gonna do. If we bought the Spirit Heart, it'd be an absolute waste since we're at the HP cap. And the battery, it would just give us an overclock on Bob's Rotten Head so we could throw it twice in one room. So we're on the depths one now, and uh, doing 13 minutes. If we can beat the next two levels really quick. See, I might not even worry about getting room on this floor. We are really powerful. So if I find the boss, I'm just gonna go for it because if we can do a special mode, if you see, I didn't even see that there, but that's okay. Because if we can get an extra mode done in this run with Isaac, that'd be amazing. Uh, to unlock it, to even have a chance, you gotta beat the, you gotta beat Mom in 20 minutes, and we are making pretty good time. So hopefully we can find our boss fight really quickly uh cursor i will go into it for half spirit heart spiders Meh. and we are clearing this floor out really quickly which is good for us there's a key so if we come across our item room which there it is uh, we will absolutely go to it. tears down yeah, we only need seven cents, and he can give us payout for levels like that. So there's that, our mob trap room. Not gonna do it to conserve time. I was just seeing what kind of chests there were in there, in it. There's a spirit heart for us. And this run, I'm absolutely loving. It's one of the most powerful runs I've ever had on Isaac. Okay, no thank you. And. If we did get to our boss room, it would be pretty good. And there it is. There's a bomb, and our boss will be the fallen. Okay, free deal with the bad move. I don't know what just happened there. A browser automatically in nine lives. Are you kidding me? Uh, Sister Maggie. No, thank you. But that's that floor. And so now, if we can find mom and maybe a way to teleport out. Well, if we can find an emperor card, it'd be really good. So hopefully, our boss will be down this way as a dead end. Our spiders just completely tore that guy apart. That was phenomenal to watch. I love how your flies and your spiders scale with damage. Scale with your damage, that is. Uh, yeah, we, we'll go into our cursor. Some spiders. 
for half spear heart not worth it in my opinion but since we have so much hp uh it's not really a big deal and ooh, cricket's body splash damage and tears up this this is what we could have asked for this will just rip through any enemy we come across and who knows maybe we'll be able to go further than mom's heart in this run there's golden poop gives us a lot of money i should have let bone friend pick up that but uh yeah we'll go to this room <sighs> how ironic you we use our only we use our last two keys to open that room and we need three more thanks game but i cannot be a smart ass in this game uh the run it's given us it is amazing. I love this run. So, you can play along with the seed. Uh, you won't get any unlocks, but you can just see if you could do better than I have. And I'm not going to bother with the blue fire. You can get spear hearts out of it if you use a bomb sometimes. But, uh, so we've got three minutes to beat mom. That one is not going to issue. And there's our special room. So there's old bandage, HP up. I'm gonna check our deal with the devil first. Little brimstone. I don't think he scales with our damage. We're we're doing fine. So let's go in here. And all right, this room you fight every boss in the game, basically. So just to give us more defense, I'm gonna take punching bag. Oh, there's Gertie Jr. dead. This is blighted Ovum. Oh, as soon as that boss spawned, the wretched just straight up instantly died. I wish we had like piercing tears or something. Just to take out this uh, boss really quickly. Come on. There, let's go. Duke of Flies should die instantly. There's Peep. Peep where you going? Peep's dead. Who's next? Loki and Blast Assist. Loki's dead. Get that Spirit Heart. Blast Assist uh, splits up into multiple parts. But... So, Gemini and Steven. Not an issue. Ooh. Fish Tail is spawning right on top of me. So they should die basically instantly. So where's the other one? There it is. There you go. Chad's dead. Spawn right on top of me. See, that's a punching bag. It, the enemies target it, and it's amazing. Especially with the damage we're putting out. Who's our boss right here? 30. So, Monster 2 and Gish. I got Monster 2 first. Gish. Because, uh. <coughs> Monster 2 is the more annoying one of the two. Gish just kind of hops around. The Widow died instantly. Okay, it's okay. Pin's dead. The Hollow. And the Husk. Uh. Mainly, you could probably see some resemblance between these bosses. The Hollow is Larry Jr., and then the Husk is Duke of Flies. They're just kind of buffed. More powerful. Mask of Infamy. And who is that? Who is that? Okay, the bloat. We don't have to get too close to the bloat. Right, he's dead. And then now we're on the horse of Pestilence and uh, Famine. Which will be not a problem at all. Pestilence is creep, but do anything. And now we're on Death and War. Which, there goes Death's uh, horse, and then. War. Come on, War. What are you doing? He's dead. Now I'm falling. And he's dead. And he's dead. And he's dead. Yeah. I'm not too worried about taking little hits of damage. And there's Isaac's head. We completed the boss rush mode. And I believe this is 2020 double shot. Yeah. So this was completely worth it. 
So there's the boss rush mode. Boss rush mode. My apologies. And we're down to the wound one, which is big. Uh, and maybe we can pull out a mom's heart kill on this run. Which if we don't, I will be 100% surprised because this is a super powerful run. And maybe we'll uh, maybe we can pull something else. Oh, okay, we don't have any keys. Double shot was okay. Torn, tor uh, double shot just made this run even more stupid than what it was. And I don't think double shot gives you a damage downgrade, like it splits your damage. I believe both tiers do with the damage you were doing when you only had one tier. Well, Guppy's tail is really coming to effect here with all these golden chests. I'd love to open them, but I can't. And, uh, some money. Should let Bum Friend take it, but with a run like this, you don't really need consumables. Keys would be nice, but... And it looks like we have a big boss for this, so... I wonder who our boss is gonna be. Mr. Fred. Okay, he should... die... relatively quickly. And he's dead. RM is poor photo, tears, and shot speed. And our deal with the devil is Guppy's head. Sure, sure. Get some extra flies out of it. You know, I will take Guppy's head. I think it's uh, better than Buzz Run head, and we can use it every room. And it just gives us more flies. So there's a fourth Guppy item in the arcade. Let's see what's in here. Not worth our time. All these eye lasers, jeez. Punchy bag took a hit for us. Uh, not that it would have really mattered if we did take that hit, but didn't realize those were the laser spiders. Get some more flies. This massive fly army—it's ridiculous. All these flies. Oh, okay, I walked into the, the poop. I was about to say, did a bullet really sneak in and hit me? But, it didn't. Instantly dead. I love runs that you get like this. Now, almost guaranteed. Let's just go ahead and... Almost guaranteed our next run will be nowhere near as good as this. But we don't have to really worry about it. Because we've already beat boss rush mode with Isaac. I deserve that. I should really pay attention to what those wall spiders are. That's what tight. Okay, troll bomb. Trying to sneak in a hit on me. More flies for us. And uh, let's go this way first. Oh, why am, why am I not opening these? Child's heart. Sure. We don't have a trinket. I just get four red heart drops. Money. And a heart. More flies. We're just tearing through this run. It's only been three minutes since we've done boss rush mode. There's our boss. And this room is a piece of cake. So let's go fight mom's heart. Yeah, we'll go down. We'll keep going. We've unlocked Eden. Now, the thing with Eden is you can only play him as you beat Mom's Heart. So next run, if we were to do an Eden run, we'd have to kill Mom's Heart to play as Eden again, because you get Eden tokens, but we're in Shoal right now, so uh, this is new. Hopefully we can pull out a win on Shoal the first time we beat Mom's Heart. That'd be absolutely fantastic. More flies. And, okay, these enemies. These enemies suck no matter how strong you are. It just, it becomes less annoying, and I will do this. We have so many bombs, I'm not going to use them for anything else. That kind of sucks that we didn't get any spirit hearts out of it, but 
I can barely see the enemies when, when uh, my tears splash everywhere. Okay, Judgment, I will play you just for an item, honestly. Maybe some keys in case golden chests spawn, which they are most likely going to. Portable slot. Mm. <sighs> Anything but portable slot, I would have been happy with. Sure, well, why not? Why not? Yeah, but uh, I'm gonna record Isaac today, and I may. Okay, I may uh, get a second LP going up on the channel. Some more money. You know, Bob and Frank, go take that thing. More money. And there's our secret right for the boss fight. So, hopefully we can beat the boss. Alright then. Now if we can beat the boss, we're fighting Satan. There's no doubt in my mind that we will win here. And we be Satan. Now I promise you 100% that that we won't have a run like this. Uh, and we won't win as easily. But we unlocked a couple things, and we beat the game in under half an hour, which is good. I'll shut up so you can watch the cinematic. We've unlocked Mom's knife, Judas, and thank you guys for watching. Honestly, it was a good run. I'll see you in the next video.